Greetings. My name is Pastor Elio Ching from Sitam Buruburu and uh, we, today I'm doing a daily devotion from the book of Revelation. Uh, we are doing a series here at church on the seven churches of Asia Minor. So today we will focus on the church at Ephesus. And John is writing this uh, to the church at Ephesus, but particularly uh, this is a revelation that was given to him by the Lord Jesus himself speaking to those particular churches. So to the church of Ephesus, these things he says, who holds the seven stars in his right hand? Who walks in the midst of the seven golden lampstands, which are the seven churches? I know your works, your labor, your patience, and that you cannot bear those who are evil. And you have tested those who say they are apostles and are not, and have found them to be liars. At that particular time, uh, the Romans had, had begun to institute uh, emperor worship, and the church was being encouraged not to involve themselves in emperor worship. And there was a lot of persecution. In fact, they were being classified as uh, people who prophesied were being classified as people who were astrologers, people who were magicians, and all of them were were being thrown into in, 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 into slavery and, and and into into persecution. So John is writing this to the. Uh, in fact, Jesus himself is on writing this to the Ephesian church, and he's saying that you have persevered your labor of love your patience, and you cannot bear those who are evil. And they have tested and they have withstood the test of time against particularly the, the, the Nicolaitans who are a, a sect of, of a man named Nicholas. And they were able to withstand persecution from them. And they were able to, to follow Jesus and, no, and, and, and not to be deceived by false doctrine. So this is a challenge to, to many of us who are out there. Do not be deceived by false teachers. Do not succumb to their teachings. Follow the Lord Jesus for yourself. Read the Bible for yourself. Know him for yourself so that you will not be duped, so that you will not be deceived. Another thing that Jesus is saying here, he's saying that nevertheless, I have this against you, that you have left your first love. I don't know where you have fallen at in, 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 in your pursuit of the, of the kingdom of God. Maybe at some point you used to do some things, you used to go for cashers, you used to attend prayer meetings, you used to read your Bible, you used to pray, you used to be so zealous, you used to be so on fire for God, but these days, you don't, the only thing you say is, in our days we used to. In our days I used to do this one, so in our days I used to do this one, so what happened these days? We need to get back to our first love. This is what the Lord is calling us to do. He's not, he does not just want us to, to live life just like that. He wants us to follow him and to follow him with the same zeal consistently when we first met him. And that is a big challenge to all of us, that we should follow him zealously and go back to our first love. Because he tells them, there, unless you repent, I will come and remove the lampstand from you. And it is, it is a shame that actually this particular church is now, in, is now ruins in ancient Turkey. And, it has, and Turkey, that country now, is 98% Muslim. What happened? It is because probably they did not go back to their first love. So this is a challenge to us as children of God, as believers. Let us go back to our first love. Let us go back to where we first met him. And let us continue to do the things that, he is in, that, that, that the Lord has called us to do. If it is prayer, let us keep praying. If it is study, let us keep doing, let's, let's keep studying. If it is fasting, let us keep fasting. If it is giving, let us keep giving. Let us not grow weary in doing what God has called us to do.